Hey there, Josh Ellis here, and this is Success in Seconds. A quick little use of that earwax drainage candle to help you listen up. Gross. And I'm Shelby Skirhawk, and uh, you know what? We thought, given how we communicate a lot on the podcast, we should share some ways for everyone to be better at both sides of a conversation. These tips come from Nito Quabane, and the article on success.com is titled, How to Speak Well and Listen Better. Yeah, use that candle. Nito gives uh, 10 ways to be better, but we picked a few for ourselves. So Shelby, I will take the how to be better when it's your turn to talk and uh, you can share the listening tips. Why do you get to talk and I just listen? I need the more help on (laughs) talking. All right, one way to improve your conversational skills as the talker is to start by getting your thinking straight. Nito says... The most common source of confusing messages is muddled thinking. So think before you speak. I believe that uh, my dad told me more than a few times, especially as a teenager. (laughs) I got in trouble. Another way to improve is to be concise. Don't waste words. Confusion grows in direct proportion to the number of words used. So speak plainly and briefly using the shortest, most familiar words. All right, now it's my turn to talk, and I did think before I, I'm, I'm speaking now, so good. heard your, your tips there. First way to be a better listener is to do it with thought and care. So mm-hmm. most of us only retain about 25% of what we hear, so increase your retention and comprehension of what someone's saying by really focusing on the person and giving the speaker your full attention. Mm-hmm. Also mm-hmm. use... <laughs> Also use your eyes when you're listening. You thought I was going to say ears, right? Like that's kind of obvious, but... I'm staring you down right now. You are. You're really listening with your eyes. So if you only listen with your ears, you're going to miss out on a lot of the message. A lot of what people say is nonverbal. And the nonverbal message you're giving me, Josh, is evil eyes. Stink eye. (laughs) So look at them, look for feelings, learn to read their face to find the nonverbal messages, as well as listening to the verbal ones. I hear you, Shelby, with my ears and my eyes. Evil eyes. 